Oh, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at us go. <laughs> it's Liam Mouse Vlog, Liam Mouse Vlog, it's Liam Mouse's Vlog. Good morning, goodness gracious. So, we had a bit of a Twilight Zone situation last night. Well, I did. Well, Mom said that she did too, but we didn't actually converse about it until just now. We just woke up and last night when we got in and we got up here and, you know, got the pizza and all that stuff, um, I had in my head, like my internal clock said it was 7.30. I live in Central Time in Grand Forks. Mom lives in Ohio Time, which is, well, Eastern Standard Time. So she's an hour ahead of where I'm at in Grand Forks, always. So I had it in my head that it was 7.30 in the evening when we got here and got settled in and everything. And I got back to my room after the pizza and everything. And then I started looking at like my phone and my laptop and everything and it said it was 6.30 and I was like, how is it only 6.30? Like we did all this stuff, we did all this driving. Like I did the math, I'm like we left this park at like five o'clock, took us an hour and a half to get here, we got pizza, like how is it only 6.30? And I was like, so confused by that and but then I was just like okay well apparently we just made good time you know whatever I wasn't paying attention to the clock enough I don't know and then uh, I got super tired at, at uh, 8 30 and was like why am I so tired at like 8 30 and laid down and went to sleep for a little bit got up got a snack and then went back to bed later woke up this morning at 7 30 and went over there and then and then I got a good morning text from JJ like right then which is unusual because he doesn't usually text me until after he already gets to work and gets set up and everything and that's definitely not at between 7 30 and 8 in the morning it's usually more around 9. so i was so confused i was like what's going on with this time thing i feel weird like something's weird and she she goes oh yeah i found out this morning that we're actually in mountain time here and i was like what <laughs> so we're an hour behind what they are in grand forks and I didn't know because your devices automatically update to the time where you're at and it doesn't say what time zone you're in it just gives you the correct time for where you wherever you are so she was like yeah I was all confused about that too and I turn on the TV and it gives the time and it says mountain time on there and I called the front desk and asked what time zone we're in here and they said mountain time and I was like holy crap so <laughs> we're not even out of North Dakota we're still in North Dakota we're in Dickinson and we're in mountain time and I was like you know okay that explains everything because I felt weird about the time ever since we got here and it was so strange and I couldn't figure out why <laughs> all right we're in mountain time here <laughs> 7 30 here is 8 30 in Grand Forks is 9 30 in Ohio and we're we got it now we're good okay we're gonna roll we're gonna go grab some caribou coffee breakfast go to this dinosaur museum thing I don't really know and then we're doing this Theodore Roosevelt Park thing where you like drive through and see stuff I I don't really know how that works but that's on the agenda for today I um I think we're staying another night somewhere not sure yet I don't know it's still kind of up in the air depending on how we feel and whatever because we're about I don't know, six and a half hours out from Grand Forks right now so yeah with me driving, it goes a little quicker, but <laughs> I got a lead foot. Anyway, I gotta get stuff packed up and get out of here. Huh. Yeah, so we're those people sitting in the parking lot waiting for it to open. <laughs> yes, we are. Making jokes about stuff, because that's what we do. <laughs> we got our masks, just in case. All worn out, because yesterday we had to perform great magic, and we had to make a huge rock fit into the Trump to my car. Yeah, that big rock. You remember that? Lee and I are going to pick up the truck from my car before we go. <laughs> Think we can do it? Yeah! Yeah, right. that'll fit very nicely in the back seat. And after, I'll show them here. I said rock, rock, rockiest sh shrinkus. We had to that. do rock shrinkage. Yeah, I brought my wand. Magic. 
And after we did that, then I could just carry it right here in the front with me. This is what we did to the big rock. Yeah, see? 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 We got it right down to size. Your wizard, Harry. Whew. That was work. It was. All that magic. I know. I took, took it out of me. No wonder we went to sleep at 8.30. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> yeah, the weather is amazing here right now. In Dickinson right now, here where we are, it is currently 61 degrees. In Grand Forks, it is 72 degrees, and back where mom lives, it is 84 degrees. So we definitely are in the nicer weather territory at the moment. And fun fact, in Niagara Falls, it is 79 degrees. So yeah, 61 here. It's a little chilly actually, but it feels really nice. Ah uh, yes, we must water the dinosaurs this morning. What dinosaur glory shall Awaits us no drinks. Well, I have to have my water oh, bottle. I'm my water. Yeah, I'm taking my water bottle. I'm sorry. We strongly encourage you to wear a face covering. Okay, let's do it. All right. We're masked up for the dinosaurs here. <laughs> Enter. Woohoo. Good morning, ladies. Welcome. Good morning. Good, thank you. Coming to Yeah. Oh, look at that thing. Yeah. Up the old arm of a wow. Up the arm of one. Boy, wouldn't that be something to find? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, fossil skin. I like dinosaurs. I'm Ross. I get very excited about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. There's a fluorescent rock display. Oh. Whoa. Goodness. Oh, those nice. And administered by many agencies. Yes, now we have. See things. Little egg gem rocks things. Whoa. This guy. I always wanted to go on the dig. I thought that would be so fascinating. I know, right? It would be. So these are the bits that they found in blue here. The Warwick duck. They were broken. Yeah. Right here, right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good lord. Is that Archaeopteryx on the other side? Yeah. The link between birds and dinosaurs. Triceratops. Three horn face period. Oh, yeah, I see him there. 37 feet of hill had to be removed to reach the bone. Oh, my God. It's Hedwig. <laughs> It is the Archaeopteryx, sort of. <laughs> Look at this massive Triceratops skull. Real Triceratops skull weighs approximately 1,500 pounds. This thing is huge, holy crap. I can't even, like, <laughs> that's a big head. <laughs> so we've got the, the old skull of the prehistoric people, and then we've got us, and apparently this is, you know, what we're gonna be. The grays. <laughs> now we're talking. You don't want to dance? <laughs> Your dance moves put me to shame. <laughs> Your grandma had one of these? And you had to take them to this ringer. Mm -hmm. And it was plugged in, and if your hand got caught, then and many people got mangled hands for life. And they got caught in a ringer. Dear God! It was a horrible thing. So this is the world's most dangerous washing machine by Maytag. So this is the atomic age here, 1950 to 1959. So you would have grown up with this. Yes, I know. We got our first TV when I was. Probably 10 or 12. Oh. Yeah, we were so excited. We sit and we just look at the test pattern. They had a test pattern until the show would come on. We never knew when it was coming on. We sit there, stare at the test pattern, and finally, Lassie or Lone Ranger would come on the early shows. Man, I remember that. Aww. And Rick wouldn't go to sleep till he saw the commercial of Frankie the Keener Wiener. Yes, I remember you telling me that. <laughs> Yeah, sure. So this is what your guys' well, stuff looked like. Some of it. Kind of clunky looking stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. So when you were 10 or 12, well, when you were 10, it would have been 1952. 
Yeah. So out when the TV came out. That's so crazy. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the first to get a television. Really? <laughs> And we love playing with our Tinker Toys. Boy, we played with those. I toys. even had Tinker Toys. I played with Tinker Toys. Yeah. And uh, Croquet was a game we played. Oh. So. And, boy, this takes you back. Man, I don't know how old I am, but look at this stuff. <laughs> Yeah, pretty soon, you know, I'm going to be walking through a museum and go and the living room setup's going to look exactly like what me and JJ have right now. And I'm going to be like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> but I see something over here that excites me. Oh my God, a dollhouse. I love dollhouses. I have been obsessed with dollhouses for as long as I can remember. Oh my God. Oh, everything is in miniature, and it's so detailed and cool, and I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Look, they even have cats in the litter box. Oh, I never saw that before. <laughs> now that is detailed. <laughs> oh, it's tidy cats yet. <laughs> they stand perfectly still. Oh, I know. And they go, puff. Yeah. I never experienced that, but we had cameras <laughs> that had flashes on them. Mm -hmm. You put a little bulb in there, and that flash it stayed in your eyeballs for about two hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have that anymore. No. I remember that. It's really funny that this has now been condensed to this. We can take a <laughs> photograph with this now. Well, I think it's scary to look at. God. We stopped to look at the scenic view, and holy moly, it's quite a view. This is the Badlands? Mm -hmm. Shit, I see why. <laughs> so apparently that was the Painted Canyon. Well, I found this thing, and all I care about is that they're baked goods and coffee. So I'm gonna go get coffee. So we're just sitting out here with our coffee and our banana bread that we got from the, um, wherever the heck that was <laughs> yesterday. And, uh, they don't have there. They don't have any what? No postcards, can you believe it? No that? postcards. I'll do it somewhere else. Okay, yeah. Okay. But this is our view here, it's very nice. Nice little sitting area and yeah, just enjoying our stuff. Yeah. Oh, was that an eagle? Yeah, it was a fawn. This time it was a jacket. It wasn't that bad. No, but it was terrifying. Yeah. Okay. I'm just sitting here and I just feel and it like. This giant daddy long legs just dropped from somewhere and landed on my shoulder. I was like, oh my god, he was right here. Mom's like, I got him, I got him. She had to scoop him off with a napkin and he was running all, oh my god. <laughs> I'm awake now. That was terrifying. <laughs> my first instinct was to grab the camera, but then when he started wiggling this way, I'm like, okay, you gotta get him. <laughs> get him. Oh god. <laughs> the Badlands. I'm gonna die here. So we are at the Theodore Roosevelt National Park about to do this scenic driving thing. Yeah, holy crap. This is... <laughs> you gonna be alright? Yeah, I'll be alright. As long as you'll be alright. We oh. can't very well get off of it once we get stuck. It's gotta go. Oh boy, here we go. So I don't know if we'll see any wildlife or what. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is uh, this is quite a climb here so far. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm not. Be okay. Are you talking to me or you? Me. Oh. That's a lot of. Mountain. It's a lot of butte. Yeah. I don't know if it's a lot of 
I don't not. think these are the buttes. I think <laughs> these qualify not necessarily as mountains. I don't I don't know what they are. Technically, I don't know what makes... Badlands, that's all I know. Yeah. Oh. It's a giant stone hill thing. We're hoping to see buffalo. I don't know if we will. It's been... You have to stay up there because if you come flying down, it wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> Buffaloes can't fly, or maybe they can, and that's why they have buffalo wild wings. We didn't want the rock falling on us. Oh. You know? <gasps> oh, oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Got him! Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, just stop. What do I do? Just stop. <laughs> what do Take, I do? Roll down your I'm not rolling down my window. Are you crazy? Get a picture of him. I am. He's on video. I can only do so many things at one time here. Don't you see? Here, you take that. Yeah. So you can see him. Hi there. Can't see him anymore. Step out the window and get him. He's already over the side. Okay. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> We got a we got a whole herd over here. He must have escaped and said, "Screw you guys." He's the introvert of the group. Yeah, talks. here we go. <laughs> Aren't you beautiful? Oh my gosh! You are so beautiful. There's so many. I love you. You're a little buffalo. <laughs> you're so pretty. Yes, you are. You're pretty. <laughs> I knew you had to be Oh my god, there's so many and then there's like this person parked and yeah, I'm gonna park. Do not feed the prairie dogs. Yeah, I'm not worried about the prairie dogs right now. I'm sorry, but I don't want the windows down. I don't, I've seen too many YouTube videos. Boy, there's a giant one right there. Yeah, we got... We're not gonna get out, but you know, if I have the No, window, I'm definitely not getting out. Can I get it over here, please? What? Give me that camera. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> now, how do I? Did it just film it automatically? It's already recording. Yeah. Oh, okay. This oh, portion nice. of the vlog brought to you by Mama Mouse. <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna hop out real quick no. and take a picture. No, I will. Oh boy! Just, just don't careful. make me nervous. And... All right, be very careful. Here, here, wait. Get the big guy. there you're so sweet he's gonna get up now oh he's gonna perform he's gonna roll on his back <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh. they're gonna get right out that isn't too wise but anyway you're filming the side of the door <laughs> Big buffalo, Papa buffalo. Uh oh, they're looking at me. We got the big guy. There's this fuzzy one over here. here on the side of the road. Hey dude, what's up? <laughs> well, we got to see Buffalo, that's for sure. Yeah. I definitely didn't expect that guy to be walking down the middle of the road. Oh, he was big. He was big. <laughs> Woo wee. Psh, ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing our ascent into the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Please do not approach the wildlife should they approach you, and please keep your seat belts fastened and your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. And the deer and the antelope play. Hey, hey. <laughs> Seldom is heard a discouraging word. And the skies are not cloudy all day. Oh, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. <laughs> oh, look at us go. <laughs> Here comes a biggie coming across there. Just a meandering along. 
Aren't you sweet? I love you. You're so beautiful. Lovely buffalo. Thanks for the memories. Oh, we're back in Bismarck. We came back for the big boy since we didn't get it on the first <laughs> the first go and uh, we're in a very, very long line. It's much longer than it was the first time. We're all the way back here and the big boy is up there and I knew this was the line for it when I saw the end car just sitting here. One is about a quarter till six your time. Yes, yes it is. This is negating all the good time that I made. Damn it. <laughs> I know. I I appreciate it. Yeah, it's fine. Just it's I'm an, I'm just yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> I never see anything like it really. Me neither. People never are literally we're line. literally lined up on the street here for this. Like this isn't even anything. It's on the street. We're taking up a lane of traffic to wait for the big boy here. Yep, there's three cars behind us yet. Uh, all in line for the big boy. We're making our way closer. There's the big boy fella with his little cheeseburger. He's happy to see us. Hello. Get to save a sack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Mom's sweet. all excited for her big boy. See, that was her first job, you see, at a big boy, so she's gotta have the big boy. Then get back on the road. Oh my god. 